somehow Flameheart returned. With the release of Season 13, we're only a week into the new patch. Fighting as the Burning Blade is exhilarating, and fighting a player-controlled Burning Blade ship can feel like fighting a Dark Souls boss in the Sea of Thieves. The strategies will be even more finely tuned as time goes on. Alongside the release, people have found ways to explicably bump up their Burning Blade shrine count to the tens of thousands, which Rare has consequently squashed for now. But this has seemingly cemented a culture that was already within the game, but it makes hunting the Burning Blade extremely tedious and difficult. Reaper Runners <laughs> Reaper Runners are specifically PvE-focused players, looking to take advantage of the gold multiplier that the Reapers offer. The catch? As a Reaper, you're highlighted on the map for everyone to see, and as your grade goes up, people weigh up the odds as to whether or not you're worth trying to fight. The higher your flag grade, the higher the chance you have something valuable on board. The same happens with the Burning Blade, although it's already there for everyone to see. It's a world event after all, with the counter below the ship as to how many shrines it has completed. The more shrines completed, the more money, and what seems to be approximately 100,000 per level at grade 5, you can see why people are doing this for a quick buck. There is a commendation for Athena players to fight player-controlled burning blade ships that have a stack of three or higher. So Athena players right now are out on the hunt to snuff out the burning blade. But it seems like Flameheart has been hiring flame farts as when there is even a slight tinge of green on the horizon, the Burning Blade players start booking it towards the Reaper's hideout. Despite the slower speed of the Burning Blade, it can complete its voyage and cash in its haul with little to no time and little resistance at all. It puts players chasing the Burning Blade at a major disadvantage unless the whole server comes together to try and fight this behemoth. If you're fighting a somewhat capable crew, good luck with those ladder watchers. There needs to be a clause where the Burning Blade cannot lower, similar to Hourglass or even diving to voyages if there are other ships nearby to keep the competition strong and the spirit of the fight alive. Seeing this demonic ship run to daddy away from a tiny sloop just feels odd. Bro, you guys need a f off. Get alive. What do you mean? Good. You're at a PvP event. You're a bitch. Mate, you're running away! Right now, I still feel we're in the learning phase of the ins and outs of the Burning Blade, so I don't feel like there needs to be too many changes, if only maybe to increase the anchor raising speed just a tiny bit. But that would only need to happen if the hand in time doesn't change. If that puts the Burning Blade players in a perpetual battle because people keep showing interest in the world event, then that's the price the players pay by becoming the world event. Anyway, rent over, enjoy your 300k. It's a shame though, that would have given good fun for a fight. Yeah, yeah. we got 300k. Oh, I say. 